Can you hear the sound? Wait for the wind. <laughs> Haunted. The Haunted forest. Haunted bamboo. Now the wind stops. There it goes. Got a good pinch grip. <laughs> Those things are probably so dang strong too. Oh, why does I say that? <laughs> oh shit! Oh. Now. Is it fun?
Oh, I bet you could, but really dirty water. Right here, they've shot a bunch of movies over in here for like dinosaur land and stuff. Still recording. Well, what is the heck? Why? I'm gonna dunk my head in right here.
I had to get my hair wet. better. That was better. Okay, it's going. You had your practice. <laughs> Stupid thing. I'll go in front of it. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Okay. Well, make sure you take your shoes out. Ha <laughs> ha
wobble back and forth. That looks hard. My first try. That's always a good one. No. Mm -hmm. It's always a good one, first try. No. Oh, that was a bad thing to have on my camera. <laughs> Big old snort. Gee. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That's scary. There might be a baby wheel in this mix. Unconfirmed yet, but I thought I just saw it. Oh. a really small blow. There's two adults, but I think there's a baby too. Uh, yeah, this is a unique group. It's awesome. Oh, look at that baby whale. Okay, they're all like really rolling around. It's hard to tell. So you guys enjoy this close proximity and I'll talk about it after. So I do just want to quick point out that turquoise is most likely the underside of the whale's flippers. It's white, so it looks turquoise. Uh, that's a great way to spot whales, is looking for that turquoise. This group that we're watching is mom, baby, and mom's my boyfriend. So he's not dad. Mm -hmm. Great question, what happens to dad? So that calf is closest to us. You can see the really tiny dorsal fin leading the group. That is a 2017 edition of the humpback whale. It was created last year and birthed this year. That whale's... Oh, there's another whale. Oh my gosh. For sure breaking a lot. This is incredible. It's going to come back up. Oh. Get ready, port side, left hand side. So basically what happened to dad, uh, dad say alo said aloha after things happened, so no parental investment on the part of the males. <laughs> kind of like a one night stand. <laughs> this is the calm before the storm. Look down. So this baby that we just saw, it was born at, you know, just like 12 to 15 feet long and probably weighs about a ton, 2,000 pounds. Yeah, they're huge. But they're, I think, maybe the cutest thing to see in the whole wide world. And so it would have been born just a few weeks ago. They don't stay very long here in the Hawaiian waters, so it's no more than six or eight weeks old at its very oldest. around the whole boat. They of course swim under water. If you'd like to record this, you can take out your voice memo or recorder and hold it up to a speaker and record this season's comeback song.
So I'm hearing a lot of doubters. I'm going to prove it's real with ice. You'll hear the kerplunk of the ice. but they're coming right for us. Are they? 11 o'clock, really close to the boat. Actually, we'll turn it off so you guys can hear the whales. Okay. I'm so used to it. I'll talk about whale song soon, but enjoy these whales coming right across our bow. There's two more off at nine, but I don't think those are the whales that were coming towards us. Sometimes we're pleasantly surprised by where they resurface. Okay. Uh-huh. We had them in the boat today. They didn't come up so close though. <laughs> Alright, while we wait, what did you guys think about that whale song? Everyone believe that it was real? Yeah, it was totally real. That was a really loud, really clear whale song. I turned the volume down on our amp. Oftentimes we have to have that all the way up. 
Uh, so if you guys notice that boat way off, we weren't hearing their engines. So we probably wouldn't pick up a noise that far away. So I didn't hear any boat traffic with our microphone at all. So that just tells us that those whales had to be closer than that, which is awesome. I uh, just from experience doing this due to the clarity and how loud it was, those whales are probably pretty close. I would assume within a mile, if not closer. Basically what was happening there was that was a bunch of males swimming or singing beneath the surface, uh, head first, tail up. Yeah, there are whales at one o'clock. That could be them, they could have made it that far. Not sure yet. So they're swimming head first, tail up, in that funny position. Yeah, that most likely was them. And they sing the same song on loop over and over again. Its longest duration is around 17 minutes, and it's unique to this breeding ground. So the whales in Australia are singing a totally different song, but each male sings the same song, but all at a different time. They don't know how to harmonize yet. They haven't figured that out. Uh, and this year's edition is different than last year's. It, it's clearly different. I have recordings from last year. I can play them if you want to hear. Uh, but there's sounds and vocalizations that we were not hearing last year. So it's constantly evolving and changing. They add and drop different choruses and verses. Uh, but they're all singing that mumbo jumbo all at the same time. And when I said earlier that they can hold their breath for up to an hour, that hour-long breath hold was recorded by a singing male. So he went underwater uh, and sang his heart away, sang that song over and over again, uh, kind of in a desperate attempt. So basically, for a long time, it was thought that these males are singing to attract females, right? Only the males are singing, and they're only singing in the breeding grounds. That would only make sense. However, they tested that hypothesis and were totally wrong. They played whale song in the water and concluded that only other males were attracted to singing males. So that completely surprised everyone. Uh, the current theory is safety in numbers. So if a male were to sing his desperation song, hopefully he'll attract other males and then they can safely attract a female. So no fear of rejection that way. Uh, they have much higher chances in a group because she has choice and selection. So that's what we call the wingman hypothesis. That is current, but of course it has not been verified yet. There's a lot we don't know about whale song. What we do know is it's awesome, it's complex. And you guys can hear it underwaters here in the Hawaiian Islands. If you guys want, T has a whale song rep. I don't really care if he does it, I've heard it a lot. If you want to hear it, let me know. Is, is that a confirmed yes? Yeah. <laughs> All right, T. <laughs> T, can you rap for us really quick? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is T on the mic. Oh, Megan always put me on the spot. So, you guys ready for this whale rap? Sure. Yeah. Alright, so as you guys heard, this uh, humpback whale song is pretty awesome. So, it in, uh, inspired me to write a, oh, a spoken word poem about the, the humpback whale song. So, a lot of the facts that uh, Megan had just finished talking about, about the humpback whale song, I incorporated it into my rap. So, it's sort of an educational rap, an educational poem. So if you uh, pay close attention, you're going to hear a lot about what Megan just said, and then of course uh, we can reiterate, and if you have any more questions about that song, uh, feel free to ask us. So, are you guys ready then? Yeah. Alright, so this humpback whale song rap goes something like this. 
units and phrases and many different themes come together to make this humpback song it can be very long with many different bits the longest recorded time was about 60 minutes now every year this way your song changes and arranges into something new these sounds that you hear when they put on a show are screeches that are high and moans that are low these sounds are such an amazing vocal work they range from 0 0.04 to 4 kilohertz now how these sounds are made is a question that is told they come not from vocal cords but instead vocal folds these folds stretch vibrate again and again like someone moving air through a musical accordion but what's really fascinating about the song these whales are bringing is who deep down below is actually doing the singing it's the males that are singing this humpback song but don't get me wrong the ladies make sound but what you hear all around are the males shouting out so what is all this singing about Believe it or not, this may not be a mating call. It seems the females are not interested at all. So why are the males out there doing this? It's possible it's something called the wingman hypothesis. Now all these males sing the same song, but moving air above their throat. The song is much like singing around, just like row, row, row your boat. So give it up for this humpback song, the most complex in the animal kingdom. But where it comes from is especially sick. This is the North Pacific Humpback Whale Remix. <laughs> Hey, thank you. There you go. Be careful.
say you're all hiding behind the rock. You're gonna get soaked! Recording. Waterhouse Beach. It's raining right now. It's the ocean. Sometimes you see whales out there.
getting slippery. Pirate's Cave. Big ones. Big one. They get eaten fast by the birds. It's a baby one. You gotta... Yeah, this one looks nice and big. 
The big one. Yeah. It's once once here was a uh, water water line, so they grew wild. Man, those are so good. They're just soft and chewy and creamy. Through the jungle. Here's one, Jose. <laughs> it fell. There's a big tree right here. It goes all the way up. That's probably another one, huh? Yeah. When you see them on the ground, that's probably where the tree is. Why are they always going after you? Spider web on my face. <laughs> Some of these naturalists would pay money to come up here and eat their own guava fresh right off the wild tree. Mm -hmm. Easily. Yeah. There's plenty, uh, there's a lot of trees planted of them. Oh man. We're to the bridge. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. We're off to see the wizard. Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Where'd you go? Bless me, yes. Oh, I can't reach that. There's a fruit right there. Right there. Did you like it? Yeah, there's yeah. a yellow one up in here. You want one? What? Sit here. No. That looks cool. Dad, on our way back, you should take a picture in there. It looks cool. Yeah. That's a dark area. The natural guava right there. Where is it coming from? I think people hiked up here and were Oh, here's some big ones. Where? 
Hey, right here, up in this tree. Let's see. Hmm. Yep. I see one right there. Yeah, it's on the very top. Maybe if I shake it. Try to shake it. Try to shake it and I'll catch it. Let's see what branch is on. Ow. Got something pokey on my back. Can you film this? It's that tree right there. This one. Where'd it go? Right there. Right there, Dad. Way down there? No, just right right there, the yellow one. This is fresh. This is as fresh as you can get it. This is fresh. Wild fruit. Fruit of the gods. Baba. Baba. <laughs> oh, yes. Do you, do you just crack it open and then you suck the insides, even the seeds. Oh yeah. Really? You eat the seeds and everything. Where'd another one go? I found right here. But we went, we should have a bunch of though. This one? We could have been hit on the head. I didn't think there was, Whoa. they're like, yeah. did you hear that? I fell over there. Oh, God. Something heavy. Ow. Surrounded. Mmm, you can smell them. Yeah. Let's stick our wings. Our little trail. You want one? Yeah. You eat it first. Oh boy. Mmm, that's fresh. Right for the Pikmin, man. Mmm. Oh, seeds are a little hard. Yeah, you're just supposed to swallow them. Is it good? It's really good. It's creamy. Mm -hmm. it looks weird. <laughs> Isn't that good? It's creamy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're supposed to suck the inside out. It's good and good for you. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. That is so awesome. Wild guava, baby. Right there. Mm. More. <laughs>